So we're lying in this corridor. And these trolley things? Uh, they're called gurneys. Uh, whatever. <clears throat> so, we're just lying there, real still, with the sheets up over our head. And then this Indian nurse comes along. Bro, who's telling the story? And she thinks that doctors have left these two dead bodies out there. So, she comes up and has a closer look. And that's when we just... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you should have seen her face. That is so mean. Mm, that's what I said. Uh, hey, check it. I made this up for my job. Terror, bro. Kate their pie. Give it up for the janitor guy. Hygiene. Gotta be clean. Me, I'm rolling like a clean machine. There's rules to follow. What's the only way to make it? Chemicals to deal with, so you better not fake it. Never clean the circles. Always go from side to side. Learn the color coding. Gotta take it in your stride. Yellow's for infectious operating theaters. White. Wash your hands and wear your gloves. You gotta get it right. That so rocks. <laughs> only because it took me two years to write. I could come up with something better right now. Oh, get off. She has waiting tables while I'm working in the kitchen Customers complaining and the boss is always bitching That don't matter to me because I live the irateness Every day's a good day with my fly ass waitress <laughs> Whoa! Your turn, bro Um... It's okay, I should be getting home anyway You sure? Yeah, someone wanna walk me to the bus stop? I will! <laughs> I'm sorry I don't usually drink this much. I don't usually talk this much either. Sorry. For what? You're my friend, Joey. Go for it. You have every right to be angry with Tracy. <sighs> angry that I was stupid enough to believe she'd be different. I just don't get it. I really don't. The whole thing. Relationships? No, like why the world has to be so screwy. We all want the same thing. To find someone honest and straightforward and... Decent. So that's the kind of guy I try to be. That's a good thing. Yeah, but where does it get me? I meet a nice woman, I trust her, I take everything at face value, and then I get burnt. Every single time. It's the same. Why can't people just say what they mean? You know? I don't want to not trust people. Why can't they just be nice? The world needs more people like you. And then there's you. You don't lie. You're nice. Not always. Okay, I'm gonna stop pestering you now. I'm gonna get out of your way. Oh no, Mister, there is no way you're driving. But uh, no, I, I, well, I can't. I haven't got a car. I rode a bike. <laughs> You'll end up in the gutter. Look, Libby's way. You can take her room. No, honestly, you don't need me hanging around. No arguments. You need looking after. Yeah, honestly, you don't need. To I do told this. you. Nice people have to take care of each other. I asked you here to talk, not read the newspaper. I just want to see the gig guide. I'm looking for a way to celebrate after I sail through my English exam tomorrow. So you're going to drag Tess out to some band somewhere. I'm sure she'll be in the mood for that. Well, she might be, you know. Take her mind off things. That's your idea of helping, is it? Well, there's not a lot else I can do. No one even speak to her. Well, not with you around, no. What are you saying? Well, you could try giving them a bit of space, that's all. Move out, you mean? That's one option. All oh, right, and that would be your preferred option too, wouldn't it, Mother? I don't mean permanently. Oh, fingers crossed, though. Once I'm out of there, I might even come to my senses. And you call Nate selfish. It's not always about you, Hunter. I am worried about you, though. You really think you're going to sail through your exams with all this going on? I'm not moving out, OK? Just for a night or two. Come home. Get some study done. Let Nate and Tess sort themselves Let out. Let Nate think he's won, you mean? No. Tess wouldn't want me to either. Are you sure about that? Yes. That's it. One step at a time. You can do it. <laughs> so, how are you feeling? Like I deserve after last night. I don't normally drink that much. <laughs> yeah, so you said. Several times. <sighs> Sorry. Hmm. Should have seen me a few months ago. Total shambles. Are you saying that I'm not the only person on the planet who has suffered a broken heart? <laughs> <clears throat> so, do you reckon you'll be able to deal with Tracy today? Tracy who? Oh, that's the spirit. She'll get a polite good morning from me and... That's it. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. I am way too good for Tracy Morrison. I am way too good for Tracy Trollopson. 
And the right girl will be along any minute. And the right girl will be along any minute. Hi, Soph. Do you think I can have a few words with Nate? Um, I guess... <laughs> There's coffee there. Help yourself. Thanks. Did you have a good night's sleep? So did I. First in ages. What do you want? You know what I want, Nate. I want you home. And what for? Because I want you with me. Because I'm a wreck without you. And because I'm sick and tired of being punished. You know what you need to do then, don't you? It's him or me. Hey, wait up! For you. <laughs> what patient did you nick these up? Hey, I picked them for you myself. Oh yeah, the garden at your place is there. The garden down the road though. Fendal Park. That's a public place, right? Stolen flowers, my favourite. Oh, move for me, you shouldn't have. They're for harmony. Um, where'd you get them from? Supermarket, they're real cheap. Yeah, no kidding. You realise this one's actually dead. Hi. Hey. Someone's popular. Yeah, um, where'd you get those from? Tane gave them to me. It's funny, eh? I didn't think he'd be the type. <laughs> He's not. Oh, I was winding him up this morning, telling them how I was getting flowers from a girl. <laughs> oh, good lord. I'm in serious need of a coffee. Me, mate. Uh, triple shot pronto, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So where did you get to last night? You didn't come home. I, uh, stayed in night at Tanya's. Wow. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Nah, no, I uh, just went around for a chat. I got a little bit messy on it, so I ended up sleeping in Libby's room. And Tanya slept in hers? Of course she did. Not all chicks are like that. Hey, I'm just glad you realised that. You were a bit dark on the subject last night. Oh, um, by the way, Gavin and Tracy. Yeah, it didn't happen. Gavin went home by himself and looks like they had some sort of falling out. But I wouldn't go get any hopes up. Some stuff you don't know about that girl. Like what? Like, according to one of the nurses, she's an undercover cop. <laughs> I did. This time last week, Helen Clark checked in the hospital. It's nurses. They gossip. Can't believe a word of that. Makes sense, if you ask me. She's way too friendly, that girl. Just a sec. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, it's you. Oh, but I don't want any special treatment. Okay. But I do have to get back to the wards and this may be urgent. Work or family? Work. That I can handle. I hope so. Tracy hasn't turned up for work today. I've left a message on her phone but I haven't heard back and I don't have any spare nurses to cover the shift. So you want me to call the bureau? Yes, please. Done. As soon as I finish this. Thank you. I'm worried about her. I'm trying not to be but... Trust me. If anyone can look after themselves it's Tracy. She's probably just sleeping off a hangover. How did it go? It was a start. But I can't expect miracles. You mean you can't expect Nick to act like a grown-up? No. He's behaving like a hurt little boy. So that's just how we're going to have to treat him. Oh, please. And we can't all be as strong and sensible as Hunter Mackay. So we have to make some compromises. What compromises? Well, he's ready to come home for a couple of days. On one condition. So, what, you're kicking me out? No, I'm just Asking me nicely. It's the same difference, Tess. You're letting him come between us. No, I'm not. Tess, it's exactly what he wants. So let him have it. It's only a couple of days. I don't believe this. Uh, where's the harm? You'd be better off at your parents' place anyway. At least you'll get some study done. Have you been talking to my mother? No. No, I'm not doing it. We're a couple, right? I never said anything about splitting up. Oh, but that'd be the next compromise, though, wouldn't it? I am not letting him do this to us. 
As soon as possible. Have you got any more cops that can masquerade as nurses? Your first pick hasn't bothered to show up. I'm aware of that. That's all right, then. As long as you're aware of that, we'll just keep soldiering on without her, shall we? I can do without the sarcasm. She's not up to much when she is here, but right now, a useless nurse is better than no nurse at all. I'll be sure to give her that message as soon as we find her. What? Tracy went to the gym late last night and hasn't been seen since, so as it happens, I'm short-staffed myself. I have one officer missing and most of the rest out looking for her. And I keep telling her we have to present a united front, but she just doesn't get it. I feel sorry for her. Now she has two sulky teenagers to deal with. Oh, thanks, So For a second there, I thought you were on my side. Why should anyone have to pick sides? It's not what I mean. Really? Because that's what you're making Tess do. Look, she wouldn't have asked you to move out unless she thought it would really help. Hi. Sit down. I wasn't sure you were still talking to me. Angus knew where Nate was and he didn't bother saying anything. I bet you don't know where he is now, though. He's at Mum and Dad, scoffing everything in the fridge. He turned up last night. Big drama. Tess wants him home to sort things out, but he won't go while Hunter's there. Should we go home to your parents for a couple of days? Give them a bit of space. Now there's an idea. Hi. I've, uh, I've been thinking. And you're right. It is up to us to be the mature ones. I've spoken to Mum and Dad and they're expecting me home. Thank you. There's one condition, though. It's the second time I've heard that one today. Well, you see, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm thinking there's probably a limit to the amount of maturity I'm actually capable of. I'm thinking three days before I start going mad. <laughs> I'm serious. There's got to be a time limit or people are going to suffer. All right. That was easy. Well, I'm going to miss you too, you know. Yeah, you better. <laughs> I love you. And there's nothing my wayward son can say or do that is going to change that. All right? Let me. Thanks. You're such a sweetie. I've already broken two cups this morning. Cups get broken. It's a part of life. Are you doing anything tonight? No plans. Why? That band's playing again. Uh, sounds great, but I'm scant. It's OK. I got money. That doesn't mean you have to spend it all on me. Well, you're worth it, aren't you? Are we going out tonight or not? Thanks for letting me stay. We're just glad you're back safe and sound. So is your mum. I hope you realise that. Yeah. Well, lad, all the best. Jesus is waiting in the car. Right there, we'll see you around. Yeah. See you, Soph. See ya. See ya, Hunter. Bye, Nate. Welcome home. That's some kind of weird exchange program, isn't it? <laughs> see if all the weirdness went that way. You are doing the right thing, you know. So everyone keeps on telling me pops. I'm sorry, mate. I can't help you. 50 bucks to pay, though. Come on, bro. It won't hurt. 50 bucks won't go far trying to impress your girlfriend. 75? No. No glasses. Them's the rules. We're breaking for you after breaking for everybody. Oh, man. Oh. So that's what you do with lost property, eh? I don't think so. There's a guy in here the other day looking for a cell phone. Now I know what happened to it. Leave it. And it really is crunch time for MasterChef Australia now, with the eliminations coming thick and fast from 3.40 today.